You just heard from him in that report, Robert Rico, in-house counsel for the Los Angeles Police Protective League. This has to be frightening. I, I mean, the, the officers whose images and names were intentionally published following that leak, uh, these are officers that work with busting cartels, gangs, and even work in counterterrorism. So you tell us how dangerous this is. It's, it's an historic level of incompetence on behalf of the management of the Los Angeles Police Department that caused this leak to occur. And uh, we've had hundreds of officers who have notified us that they are not only in fear for their safety, but for the safety of their families. When you have online websites as a result of this historic uh, incompetent leak uh, calling us and uh, expressing fear at a level that we've never seen, uh, we have websites that have been set up putting bounties on our officers' heads. And actually, uh, one website has called for $1,000 extra for the murder of a police officer who's a female. Uh, it's disgusting. Our officers won't stand for it, and we as a union will not stand for it. Well, how do they go to work? I mean, I, I, literally, that was my next question for you. How in the world do undercover officers whose identities were released through this leak safely perform their jobs? I mean, are they are they benched because potentially they're all going to have a hit out on them? Or, or they could? Uh, to answer your question, they, 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 to do their job from this point forward is going to be almost impossible in an undercover assignment. We don't know what the chief's going to do. Uh, there's been very little done. Uh, to our knowledge, no officers have been quote unquote benched. But uh, yes, those undercover officers and officers working in other sensitive assignments like human trafficking, uh, like the purchase of uh, firearms that are on our streets killing our kids, uh, have expressed uh, extreme fear that uh, now they'll be exposed uh, for doing the right thing. And so it's a, it's a very serious situation and we're taking all steps legally to uh, to see if we can claw back the information from the internet. And I know that there are some people who are wondering what happened because uh, the internal, uh, the members of the LAPD's internal affairs unit were not included in this leak. So some people saying this wasn't a mistake, uh, but let's get to what one of the activists says. Uh, quote, we're not publishing their home addresses. We're not publishing things that are outside their role as police officers, somehow justifying that, oh, you know, it's not too much information. You don't need anything except for maybe a name or a phone number, and you can find pretty much everything you need to know. In terms of the risks to these officers' families, on a scale of 1 to 10, how high is it? This is a 10. This is, this is higher than a 10. There's actually a, a threat as of yesterday where uh, an individual online has threatened any new hire that gets hired at the Los Angeles Police Department to have their face put through a facial recognition program and we'll find you. That means we'll find your house. That means we'll show up at your house. That means we'll follow you to your children's school. That's what that means. This is, this is an historic level of, of uh, unsafe working conditions for our members. And um, we're hopeful that the courts will see this as being an unprecedented situation and uh, we'll take the necessary, we will take the necessary steps to hopefully, again, claw this back and get it off the internet. The group Stop LAPD Spying, uh, one of the main players in all of this, they say in part, quote, police have vast information about all of us at their fingertips, yet they move in secrecy, talking about the undercover work of uh, policing. It would appear that this group and others like it, they're part of a anti-police revenge tactic to share this kind of information the way that they are. But how would you define this? Well, first of all, uh, this has nothing to do with transparency. Our officers do not work in secrecy. And I would define this as a, as a form of terrorism. This is domestic terrorism at its worst. Uh, the release of the photos and names does nothing other than put men and women of law enforcement in danger. It serves no purpose in transparency. And uh, their stated purpose is uh, is simply a lie. They want to jeopardize our officer's safety, and they've done so. And again, it's, it's we will. It's a huge deal. It, it this, is, this is, is massive. Concern. It would be massive for any organization. Uh, Robert Rico, yeah. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.